Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Today, we're going to be um, hearing some realistic fiction, A Visit to the Desert. It's fiction because it's not in fact true, but it's realistic because nothing in this story is fantastical or fantasy. So the story could be true. However, it is still a fiction story. A Visit to the Desert. Essential question, how do animals survive? Survive means to stay alive, right? Read about how animals survive in a desert climate. The climate is the weather that is kind of always there. It's not just one day, it's the weather over a long period of time. And a desert has a very dry, or the science word, arid climate. There is not a lot of rainfall, and that's what makes it be called a desert. So animals there have special adaptations that help them survive. Let's see if we hear about some of these in this story. Tim was looking forward to his vacation. Then his parents told him the family would be visiting Grandma in Nevada. Tim was unhappy. He wanted to be with his friends this summer. Grandma is eager to see you, Mom said. She can't wait to take you on a desert hike. The next morning, Grandma met them at the airport. Then they drove to the desert. As they hiked, Grandma explained that animals enjoy the open desert space. It gives them freedom to move from place to place. Tim learned that the animals find ways to adapt to the hot desert weather. He wondered if he could get used to the desert climate. Wow, Tim said, look at that. The turtle carries its home on its back. Grandma smiled at Tim's excitement. Actually, she said, that is a desert tortoise. It looks for the shade made by the shadows of rocks. That's how it cools off. He burrows underground to get away from the heat. The tortoise disappeared into its burrow. Tim leaned over the hole he could not hear a sound. I'll bet it likes the silence of its burrow, Tim whispered. I think it likes its sense of safety, too, Grandma added. If you didn't know what a burrow is, you could infer from the words around the sentence that it is a hole in the ground, and when you burrow, you're digging a hole. Also, this page made sure to point out that this is not a turtle. This is a tortoise. Grandma and <clears throat> Tim continue to talk about the feeling that the tortoise has in its burrow, the silence and the safety. That's the same feeling I get at home, Tim sighed. Just then, a large rabbit hopped by. Grandma explained that the jackrabbit's large ears help it stay cool. These animals are so unlike the animals at home, Tim said. He had forgotten about the desert heat. Some animals stay cool by sleeping during the day. Then they hunt at night, said Grandma. A great horned owl hooted above them. Grandma said, it will soon be time for the owl to hunt. Now the owl on this page that's pictured is actually a burrowing owl. It does live in the desert. And it's one of the few owls that doesn't make a nest in a tree, but instead digs a home underground, a lot like the tortoise. Animals that sleep during the day and hunt at night are called nocturnal, nocturnal. So they've been talking about nighttime coming and the owl is coming out. 
Which means it's time for us to head back, Dad added. Ah, this vacation is going by too fast, Tim said. They asked Tim about the heat. What heat? <laughs> Tim asked. I feel as fresh and cool as a new flower. I've adapted. Everyone laughed. And here we could see the blossom on the cactus. A lot of cactus flowers blossom at night when it's cooler and they don't get so dried out. They have to blossom so they can get pollinated. The questions included in this story are about making connections. The essential question is, how does the desert tortoise survive in the heat? Because we're looking at one of the ways animals adapt. You may be able to think of other ways they've adapted as well. And if you can, great job. For your text to self, think of another animal you know. How does it survive in its climate? So this is a desert climate. You might think about a mountain or a rainforest climate. There's so many different types of climates. It could even be um, the climate where we live, which is kind of desertish, but not completely.